CERT-C offers an experience that is unequated at any other facility in the country. CERT-C is a premier training center for surface transportation and hazardous materials incidents. There is no other facility in the world that has this type of training available to the first responder. When you're under the gun, you have to make life and death decisions. You get that opportunity here. We're giving you the opportunity to make the decisions in a safe environment versus out in the field. If you do it here, you get it right, you'll get it right in the field. Transportation Technology Center Incorporate sits on 53 square miles in Pueblo. Our school, which is approximately 3,000 acres of the 52 square miles, was built in 1985 and we've been training emergency responders since that day. We've trained over 50,000 first responders, which is a really neat number when you think about it. We're a unique facility in the fact that we have an instructional staff that has a broad range of training capabilities that cover the surface transportation realm. It makes me feel good to see light bulbs popping off and uh, really start absorbing what you're saying. It feels like we're making a difference for the greater good. Here at CERTSI, we use a four-phase approach to learning. Phase one, we bring the students into the classroom and get them thinking in the mindset that they need to be at. So we have PowerPoints, the book is presented to them at that point. Phase two approach, we take them out of the classroom and put them into our high bay, which is a large garage where we have all the attachments that you would find in a rail car, a highway car, a intermodal vessel, uh, that they can put their hands on it. So it is a hands-on experience. We take them outside to phase three. Now they get to see everything in the upright position that they'd see sitting on the side of the road at a park to the truck stop. They get to see it, feel it, touch it, get on it. See what it's like at two o'clock in the afternoon. Because at two o'clock in the morning, it's a whole lot more different. We then go to phase four, which is where uh, all of our props are in some form of disarray. Uh, we like to say the world's coming to an end. They're no longer upright plumbing level, and that's where the large scale incidents take place. We give them theatrical smoke, explosions, and fire. They get to see what they may face on a day-to-day -day basis in their own response areas. It's been a really good experience. And of course, um, any fire department training, um, our favorite is gonna be hands-on. Here at CERTSI, we offer multiple classes for the first responder. Our basic class is our 80-hour hazmat technician class. It meets the major requirements within the NFPA standard as well as the OSHA standard. Evidentemente, las capacidades, como decía, this is a, a very amazing uh, a scenario that we can train and we can experience the almost all the different kind of emergencies that we can have there in our countries and we can prepare ourselves to respond to that. So he's very happy because it's, it's impressive. We offer our tank car specialist program, which is probably one of the premier programs nationally. We have 44 cars in a derailment. Most people are allowed to train on one car if they're lucky in their, in their own local jurisdiction. This gives them the real world experience while allowing them to do that safely and learn at the same time. You know, this, other than being on the real thing, this is the only place that I know of you can go out and play on the full scale uh, real props. We have a highway emergency class which offers the ability for students to put their hands on highway cargo tanks that they never, never see in their localities. One of the programs that CERTSI has become very proud of is our Tactical Hazardous Materials Program. That program is not intended to teach tactics, but rather to work with the law enforcement community and show law enforcement officers how to deal with surface transportation incidents wearing chemical protective clothing, allowing them to use their tactics, but learning how to do it in PPE. And of course, our 24-hour crewed by rail program, which really gives the responder a chance to learn about crude and to fight some fire. Working out of our training division, I know that I'll be able to go back to my department and relay a lot of information to fellow firefighters. In today's world with a large scale incident, above and beyond the normal first responders, there is a large array of individuals that are now invited to the scene. 
Our focus here at the school is to train everyone that potentially could impact that scene. It's a multifaceted response. As individuals arrive, there's research that has to be done, there's science that has to be done, there's damage assessment on containers, there's incompatibility. All of this has to be put into play. Many responders feel that hazardous materials response is a hurry up and wait process. We teach them why that hurry up and wait process is important. Their safety is paramount. Everyone going home is the most important part.